In this podcast, we're going to talk about having conversations in English. Listening to English talks is super important for getting better at English. It helps you understand and speak better. So let's get started and work on improving our English skills together. Ah, oh, this weather is killing me. Are you ready for some sunshine? Absolutely. I can't wait for warmer days. This rain has been non-stop. I know, right? I miss the blue skies and sunny afternoons in the park. Same here. As soon as the sun comes out, I'm planning a picnic. You in? Count me in. I love picnics. What will you bring? I'll make some sandwiches and bring fresh fruit. Maybe some lemonade too. Perfect. I'll bake some cookies and bring a blanket to sit on. Sounds like a plan. I hope the weather forecast is right about next week. Me too. They said it'll be sunny and warm. Fingers crossed. Definitely. It'll be nice to finally enjoy the outdoors again. Yes, and I can't wait to see the flowers bloom. Spring is so beautiful. It really is. The colors and the fresh air make me happy. Me too. Do you have any other plans for when it gets sunny? I might go for a hike. There's a trail I've been wanting to try. Hiking is a great idea. I might join you. I need some exercise. Great. Hiking is more fun with a friend. We'll make a day of it. I'm really looking forward to the picnic. It's been so long since we've had good weather. Me too. I can't wait to feel the sun on my face again. Do you have a favorite spot for picnics? There's a lovely park near my house with big trees and a small lake. It's perfect for a sunny day. That sounds ideal. I love being near the water. It's so calming. Yes, and the ducks there are quite friendly. They always come up to see if you have any food. I'll bring some extra bread for them. Animals always make outdoor time more fun. They do. Speaking of animals, how's your parrot doing? He's good. He's started saying hello every time I walk in the room. It's quite funny. That's adorable. Parrots are such smart birds. I've always wanted to learn more about them. I could lend you a book about parrots if you're interested. It's quite informative. I'd like that. Thanks. I enjoy learning new things. It keeps life interesting. I agree. Learning is a lifelong journey. There's always something new to discover. Absolutely. By the way, have you started any new hobbies lately? I've taken up painting. It's a great way to express creativity and relax. Painting sounds wonderful. I've been thinking about trying something artistic myself. You should. It's never too late to start something new. Maybe we could go to an art class together. I'd love that. It's a date. Well, I better get going. I have an early meeting tomorrow. All right. Good luck with your meeting. Let's talk soon about our picnic and art class plans. I'm really excited about the art class. It's been a while since I've tried something new. Me too. It's good to step out of our comfort zones. Plus, it's fun to learn together. Absolutely. And speaking of learning, how's your painting coming along? It's going well. I'm still getting the hang of it, but I enjoy the process. It's all about practice. That's true. Practice makes perfect, as they say. I might need a lot of practice with my piano skills. Don't worry. You'll pick it up again quickly. You used to play beautifully. Thanks for the encouragement. I hope so. Music has always been important to me. It's important to have hobbies that make us happy. They're like a break from everyday life. Yes, they are. They help us relax and give us joy. Like your gardening, for example. Exactly. There's something special about watching plants grow. It's rewarding. I can imagine. Maybe I'll start with some indoor plants. They can brighten up a room. They definitely can. I can help you choose some easy ones to start with if you'd like. I'd appreciate that. It would be nice to have some greenery around. Let's plan a day to go to the garden center then. We can make a list of what you need. That sounds like a perfect plan. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. It'll be a fun project. And if you have any questions, I'm here to help. Thank you, Alex. It's great to have a friend who's so knowledgeable. Anytime, Lisa. It's what friends are for. We help each other out. Well, I should start getting ready for tomorrow. It's going to be a busy day. 
I understand. I hope everything goes smoothly for you. I'm glad we're making plans. It's nice to have things to look forward to. I agree. It makes the everyday routine more exciting. And speaking of routines, how's your morning exercise going? It's going well. I've been taking long walks. It's a great start to the day. How about you? I've been doing some yoga. It helps me feel stretched and ready for the day. Yoga sounds interesting. I've never tried it, but I've heard it's good for the mind and body. It is. Maybe I can show you some basic poses sometime. It's quite easy to get into. I'd like that. It's always fun to learn new things, especially with a friend. Definitely. It's good to support each other in trying new activities. Speaking of support, how's your sister doing with her new job? She's loving it. She says it's challenging but rewarding. Thanks for asking. That's great to hear. A good job can make such a difference. It really can. She's been much happier since she started. I'm happy for her. A positive change in work can bring a lot of joy. Yes, it can. And how's your brother? Last time you mentioned he was moving. He's settled in now. He says the new place is great and he's made some friends. Making new friends is always good. It can help a new place feel like home. True. Friends are important. They make life better. They do. Well, I'm off to finish a painting I started. What are your plans for the rest of the day? I'm going to practice the piano for a bit, then read a book I've been enjoying. Sounds like a perfect day. Enjoy your music and your book. I'm looking forward to seeing your painting. Art is such a wonderful way to share what we feel. That's true. Art lets us say things we can't always put into words. It's like sharing a part of ourselves. Exactly. And it's always interesting to see what others create. It can be very inspiring. It can. Seeing different styles and ideas gives me new perspectives. It's one of the things I love about art. Me too. It's amazing how a painting or a piece of music can make us see things differently. Yes, and it's not just paintings or music. Have you ever tried any other forms of art? I've dabbled in photography. Capturing moments and scenes is quite fun. Photography is fascinating. It's all about finding the right angle and the right light. It is. And sometimes, the most ordinary things can look extraordinary in a photo. That's the beauty of it. You start to appreciate the little things around you. You really do. Speaking of appreciation, have you been to any museums lately? Not recently, but I plan to visit the Modern Art Museum soon. They have a new exhibit. That sounds interesting. I'd like to go too. Maybe we could go together? I think that's a great idea. It's always more enjoyable to share the experience. It is. Let's pick a day when we're both free. It'll be a nice outing. Agreed. We'll make a day of it. Explore the exhibit, then maybe grab some coffee. Perfect. I'll look at my calendar and let you know which days work for me. Sounds good. I'll do the same. We'll find a day that suits us both. All right. I'm excited about it. I always enjoy going to museums. Me too. There's something special about being surrounded by art. It's inspiring. It really is. Well, I'm going to get back to my piano practice now. Enjoy it. Music practice can be so rewarding. It is. And thanks again for the chat. It's always nice talking to you. Likewise, have fun with your practice. Let's talk again soon. We will. Take care.